Uh, this is a uh, week six uh, discussion part two, and they want you to expand this x plus y cubed um, using the distributive property. So if let me write it right here, it means this x plus y times x plus y times x plus y. If I multiply these two together, I get x squared plus xy plus xy plus y squared. And I'm multiplying that by x plus y. So we have x squared plus 2xy plus y squared times x plus y. Using the distributive property again, I get x cubed plus x squared y plus 2x squared uh, or 2, 2x squared y, I should say, plus 2xy squared um, plus xy squared plus y cubed and then combining like terms here Let's see if i have any like terms there is some like terms here these two and these two so i end up with x cubed plus three x squared y plus three x y squared plus y cubed. So that's if I multiply it all out using a distributive property. And then what connection do you see between Pascal's triangle and this uh, row? So I remember to start at row zero. So let's say uh, the third row starting with row zero. So if I look at Pascal's triangle, zero, one, two, three, it's right here. One, three, three, one. So going back here is one, three, three, one. So it's the coefficients of each of these terms here. So that's what, uh, how are these connected here? Uh, the coefficients of each term is uh, the same as the third row. It's row four, but it's starting with row zero is row three. The coefficients are one, three, three, one. So uh, using that connection, what would be x plus y to the six? What would that look like? And they said, don't, don't actually multiply that together. It would take you a long time. So we want to go to Pascal's triangle again here. And since we're going to the sixth power, we want row six. We're actually the seventh row here. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, or if I just count seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I start with zero, it's a row six, but it's actually the seventh row in the triangle. So one, six, 15, 20. So going back here to the discussion item, you would have one, six, 15, 20, and then 15, uh, six and one. So this would be one X to the sixth. And then notice that, um, the powers of X decreased down to zero and the powers increased from zero to three here. So since I started X to the sixth here, this would be X to the fifth, Y to the first. And then plus 15 
x to the fourth uh, y squared. Notice that these exponents are add up to the six, five plus one, four plus two, then plus 20, x cubed, y cubed, and then plus 15, uh, x squared, y to the fourth, plus six, x, y to the fifth, and then plus one, y to the sixth. So I don't have to multiply this all out. I can just use Pascal's triangle <laughs> and the coefficient of x is one, the coefficient of y is one. So I just have uh, Pascal's triangle row six, actually the seventh row, but if I start with zero, it's row six. So. 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, 1. Those are my coefficients. Then I start with the highest power of x would be x to the 6th, x to the 5th, 4th, 3rd, 2, x to the 1st, x to the 0 is just 1. So I'm not going to write another 1 here. But And then y to the 0, y to the 1st, y squared, y cubed, y to the 4th, y to the 5th, y to the 6th. And notice that... Uh, all the exponents add up to six. So six plus zero is six. Five plus one is six. Four plus two is six. Three plus three is six. Two plus four is six. One plus five is six. And then six plus zero is six. Okay, I'm gonna stop the video here.